All right, 11.5. So 11.5, we're going to talk about Kramer's rule. So we use determinants to write the solution of a systems of linear equations. So we're continuing with what we did in 11.4, where we find the determinant. We're doing the same thing here, but we're going to kind of take it one step further. We're going to skip this page, and I'll come back to it, but the next page kind of explains a little bit better how we come up with the matrices. So here is a systems of equations. We want to start by finding our matrices to then find the determinant of each of them. So in one matrix, we're just going to put our coefficients, so without the answers. So our coefficient matrix is going to be... 2, negative 5, negative 4, and 3. Our next matrix, the D sub X, our X matrix, we're going to put the answers in the X column for our matrix. So the answers are going to be 3 and 8. So that goes in our X column. The rest of the matrix stays the same. So negative 5, 3. In D sub Y, we put the answers in the Y column. So our answers are going to be 3, 8. The rest of the matrix stays the same from the original coefficient matrix. So 2, negative 4. So for D sub X, the answers go in X. For D sub Y, the answers go in Y. So let's find the determinant of each. So starting with our coefficient matrix, the first one. To find the determinant, we do majors minus minors. So 2 times 3 would be 6 minus 4, negative 4 times negative 5 would be 20. And 6 minus 20 would be negative 14. Now let's find the determinant for d sub x. So again, majors minus minors. So majors minus minors. 3 times 3 would be 9 minus 8 times negative 5 would be negative 40. So this would give us 49. And then d sub y, same thing. Majors minus minors. 2 times 8 is 16, minus negative 4 times 3 would be negative 12. So here we would get 28. Now how we find the answers or solutions to these systems of equations is we take the d sub x and d sub y, And we divide it by the coefficient matrix determinant. So d sub x divided by d and d sub y divided by d. So this would be how we write our answer. So d sub x we said was 49 over the determinant of our coefficient matrix. So just d is negative 14. Comma d sub y we said was 28 over the determinant of our coefficient matrix, which again was negative 14. And then we just simplify from here. How could I simplify 49 over negative 14? What goes into both 49 and 14? 7. seven. So it would be 7 over negative 2. How could I simplify 28 over negative 14? 14. We could divide by 14. What do we get? Two. Negative 2. So this would be our answer. You can check your work by either using substitution or elimination if you wanted to, to solve your systems of equations to find the answer that way. But this is just a different way of solving systems of equations using determinants. It's always going to be an ordered pair. And just like before, the x goes before the y. And then we're going to be doing this with three systems of equations too, so it'll be x, y, z. 
Right. So the next page just talks about Kramer's rule. It says the denominator is the determinant of the coefficient matrix, and the numerator is the determinant of the matrix formed by replacing the column corresponding to the variable. So let's do the same thing for example one. We want to find three matrices. We want to find the determinant of our coefficient matrix. We want to find D sub X and D sub Y. So our coefficient matrix, we're just taking the coefficients. So not the answers. We have four, negative two, three, negative five. In D sub X, we're replacing the X column with the answers. So our X column is going to be 10 and 11. And then the Y column stays the same as it was in the original coefficient matrix. So negative 2, negative 5. For our D sub Y column, we're replacing the Y, or D sub Y matrix, we're replacing the Y column with the answers. So 10 and 11 are going to go in the Y column. The X column stays the same as the original matrix, so 4, 3. Now we want to find the determinant of each. So majors minus minors. 4 times negative 5 would be negative 20. Minus 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6. What's negative 20 minus negative 6? Negative 14. Then for the next one, majors minus minors. So 10 times negative 5 would be negative 50 minus 11 times negative 2 is negative 22. What's negative 50 minus negative 22? Negative 28. Negative 28. Awesome. And then same thing with the third one. Majors minus minors. So 4 times 11 would be 44, minus 3 times 10 is 30, 44 minus 30 is 14. Now to find our answers, we do d sub x over d, comma d sub y over d. So d sub x we said was negative 28 over negative 14, comma d sub y is 14 over negative 14. What's negative 28 over negative 14? 2. And negative four, or 14 over negative 14? Negative 1. So this would be our answer. Next page, we're doing the same thing, but we have a 3 by 3 matrix. So just be careful, especially in an example like number 2. We're missing some terms here, so be careful with putting zeros in the right spots. So we have to find our determinant of the coefficients. Here we're going to find d sub x, d sub y, and d sub z, since it's a 3 by 3. So we got to find the determinant of four of them now. So our coefficient matrix, I'm going to start by one equation at a time. So the first row would be negative 1, 0, 1, because we don't have a y there, so I have to put a 0 in the y spot. Second matrix, or second row of the matrix, would be 2, negative 1, 1. And third row of the matrix, we don't have an X here, so it would be 0, 1, and negative 3. Let's find the determinant here, and then we'll write all of the other matrices. Does anybody remember from yesterday how we find the determinant of a 3 by 3? What do we do first? Write the first two columns on the outside. So negative 1, 2, 0, and 0, negative 1, 1. Next step is we find the majors minus the minors. So we have to multiply all three numbers in that same row or that diagonal of the major. So negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 3 would be what? Negative 3. 
Then zero times one times zero. Zero. One times two times one. Two. Two. Negative three plus zero plus two. Negative one. Minus. Let's find our minors now. So zero times negative one times one would be zero. Plus one times one times negative one. It's negative one. Negative three times two times zero is zero. So negative one minus negative one would be what? Zero. Zero. <clears throat> Here we have an issue because if I find d sub x over d, comma d sub y over d, comma d sub z over d, and I plug in zero into the denominator, it doesn't matter what d sub x is, but if I divide anything by zero, what would our answer be? Undefined. Undefined. Or what do you think here? No solution. no solution. Awesome. If d sub x was zero and d was a number, like let's say our determinant of the coefficient was six and we had zero divided by six, hypothetically speaking, Let's say d sub x was 0 and d is 6. Could I do 0 divided by 6? Yeah, what would this be? 0. But can I have 6 divided by 0? No, what would this be? No solution. This would be undefined, which means that we have no solution. Let's go to the next one. So example three, let's start by writing our determinant of the coefficients or our determinant matrix here. So let's go one row at a time. The first row, we have negative one, two, negative three. Second row, we're missing the y, so two, zero, one. And then the third row would be three, negative four, four. Let's find our determinant here first. What would we do to find a determinant of a three by three? We rewrite the first two rows on the outside. So negative one, two, three, and two, zero, negative four. Then we want to find our majors, minus minors. So our majors start at the top, minors start at the bottom. Multiply each diagonal the numbers in each diagonal together, and then we add up the three majors, minus, add up the three minors. So negative one times zero times four would be? Zero. zero. Plus two times one times three? Six. Six. Plus negative three times two times negative four? Mm -hmm. Positive 24. So our majors would be 30. Minus, let's find our minors now. 3 times 0 times negative 3? Mm. 0. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 1? Be 4. And 4 times 2 times 2? 16. 16. So 0 plus 4 plus 16. Mm. And 30 minus 20? 10. So our determinant of the coefficient is super important that you guys are careful with the signs for everything especially when just like writing down your matrix copying the two rows because if you mess up on one of the signs on one number it's going to throw your whole answer off so just be careful it's a lot of little math going on here just be careful next let's find our determinant of the x so d sub x so since we're finding the determinant of the x column the answers are going to go in the x column. So I'm going to take my answers here and put them in the x column. 1, 0, 2. The other two columns stay exactly the same from our coefficient matrix here. So the other two columns, we just rewrite from the coefficient matrix. 2, 0, negative 4, negative 3, 1, and 4. I'll give you the option. Do you want to find the determinant now or do you just want to write all of our matrix and then find all the determinants? 
What do you want to do next? We'll just find the determinant then. What do we do next to find the determinant? Rewrite the first two rows on the outside. So 1, 0, 2, and 2, 0, negative 4. So starting with our majors, minus the minors. So 1 times 0 times 4 would be 0, plus 2 times 1 times 2, 4. And negative 3 times 0 times negative 4, 0. So 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4. Minus the minors. 2 times 0 times negative 3 is 0. Negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4. And 4 times 0 times 2 is 0. So we have negative 4 minus negative 4. I mean 4 minus negative 4. What would this be? 8. So d sub x is 8. Next, let's find d sub y. So now our answer column is going to go in the y column. So 2, oops, sorry, not 2, 1, 0, 2 would go in the y column. Let me go back to my original coefficient matrix and rewrite the x and z column exactly the same as it was there. So negative 1, 2, 3. And negative 3, 1, 4. So let's find the determinant for y. To find the determinant, we rewrite the first two columns on the outside. Negative 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 2. And we have to do majors minus minors. <clears throat> So one, zero, one, negative 1 times 0 times 4 would be 0. 1 times 1 times 3 is 3. And negative 3 times 2 times 2 would be negative 12. 3 minus 12 would be negative 9. So majors minus minors. 3 times 0 times negative 3 is 0. 2 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 2. And 4 times 2 times 1 would be 8. So 0 minus 2 plus 8 would be 6. Negative 9 minus 6 is negative 15. Lastly, well not really last, but next, let's find D sub Z. So now our answer column is going to go in the Z column, 1, 0, 2. I'm going to zoom back out so I can see my coefficient matrix, and I'm going to rewrite the first two columns, the X and Y, exactly the same. So negative 1, 2, 3, and 2, 0, negative 4. To find our determinant, for this matrix, write the first two columns on the outside. Negative 1, 2, 3, and 2, 0, negative 4. So we start by doing majors minus minors. So negative 1 times 0 times 2 would be 0. 2 times 0 times 3 would be 0. And 1 times 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 0 plus 0 minus 8 would be negative 8. Minus the minors. 3 times 0 times 1 is 0. 4 times 0. Negative 4 times 0 times negative 1 is 0. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Thank you. 0 plus 0 plus 8 is eight. negative 8 minus 8, negative 16. All right, so let's find our answers now. Remember, it is d sub x over d 
d sub y over d, and d sub z over d. So 8 over 10, negative 15 over 10, and negative 16 over 10. Let's simplify. What goes into both 8 and 10? 2. So our first fraction would be 4 over 5. What would negative 15 over 10 simplify to? Negative 3 over 2. Awesome. We can divide them both by 5. And then what about negative 16 over 10? <clears throat> negative 8 over 5. Perfect. So that would be our answer. Again, lots of little math here. So just make sure you're careful.